Konnichiwa, YouTube channel e yokoso, watashi nona mahewa sarapavandes, watashi wa Olympion to beach barebaru no sekai champion de ari, naganen puro no indoor senshu des. Are you guys surprised? You guys, I am hyped about season three. I'm also hyped about learning Japanese because Haikyuu, anime, all my Japanese fans out there, I decided that I wanted to learn a bit of Japanese. So I have been working through the program on Rosetta Stone to learn the basics and try to make it so that I can start to understand the anime that I watch. And I am making progress. Tsuki. Tsu. Tsu. Ki. Ki. Tsuki. Oh my gosh. How perfect is that that I just had to learn the word for moon on Rosetta Stone? Tsuki, it's like it knew. <laughs> Learning language can be intimidating, it can be hard to start, but I guarantee you, no matter what your reason is for wanting to learn a new language, you will not regret it. So I have partnered with Rosetta Stone to offer you guys an exclusive discount on the lifetime subscription. So you can learn language for the rest of your life. And let me tell you, it is an investment worth making. Um, if it doesn't work for you, you don't like it, there's a 30 day refund policy, but I highly recommend you check it out. Click the link in my description box below to learn more and to access your exclusive discount. Now that I've completely blown your socks off with my Japanese and I'm wearing my Tokyo t-shirt, it's time to dive into season three. Can you believe it? <laughs> season three, episode one of Haikyuu called Greetings. <sighs> yes, season two ended with a bang, the full circle moment with Ushawaka and Hinata Shoyo from the concrete and the declaration of war with Oikawa, just like getting in his face, like don't you dare underestimate me, dude. Like we've got a lot of like conflict points. I don't wanna call it conflict cause it's not, but just like head to head things coming about here. So let's do this. Season three, episode one, greetings. <sighs> need to prepare myself. <laughs> Back to riding his bike in the dark. Season one. <laughs> I have goosebumps already. <laughs> okay, that intro was very similar to the season two intro where it was just like a Hinata monologue. I like, I like the consistency. Also, I didn't rec show it, but I watched that, um, the intro, the new intro. 
Very nice. Bigger gym. That girl says that to her all the time. They are so <laughs> such nerds. I love that they're like besties too. Got that snap on. I love how all of them are still completely themselves. Um, <laughs> Noya and Tanaka, I mean, okay, it was yesterday that they played their last match, but like even in the big arena with everybody watching them as they walk in, Noya and Tanaka are still girl crazy. They still pump each other up. They're like little besties. Everybody's still worried that uh, Hinata is going to barf or has to go to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> Hinata and Kageyama are fighting. Like, no matter what, they're still the same. Nothing's changed. And now everybody gets to see it. <laughs> Oh, 
この化粧品質もまぐれじゃなきゃいいけどねなんだあのおっさんまた来てたのか知り合いですかいや昔からたまに来ててな不景とかではなさそうだから単に高校バレエファンのカラスのビーキなんじゃねえかないいと思ったプレーには完成そうでなければ罵声昔から分かりやすいおっさんだよお前らも見たことあんのかはいうちらがまだ1年生だった頃大会に来てまして二度と地に落ちたなんて言わせねえおいしょ Oh, I have goosebumps. And also, this is a huge deal. Like, high school volleyball where I grew up was like not a big deal. But, like, this massive like TV setup, all the trophies, all the medals, like, these guys are, wow, stars. Stars for the day. I have full body chills. I'm loving all of this. Oh dear. Okay, so maybe just gonna lose the cheering battle. They've done this before, clearly.
Number five, though. What? <laughs> oh, I love this. Look, the fans are doing it. Oh, that's great. Also, why do they change the music for the commercial break every season? Like, I got used to season one. I loved it. It meant a lot to me. They really messed with me for season two and now they change it again. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to adjust. But, all right, I think we can see the difference here. Kirasuno is like still up and coming. They haven't been in this place for a while, so their fans are a little rusty. Um, the guys are, are pretty nervous. And then we've got Shira Torizawa, who very experienced in this type of match. But it'll be fine. And if what I'm picking up here, it seems like the entire season three is named for this match. So they can't just lose right away this whole season, right? Hopefully. He's like a man. His elbows have muscles. Did they base that character off of a Cuban player? Somebody tell me, because I know you know. There, I'm pretty sure that there's a Cuban men's player named Le Leon, Leon. D is the, do they base characters in Haikyuu on real athletes? And if so, how do I get on the show? Like, 
Some, please tell me right now. Oh, wow. That was like <laughs> straight down. <gasps> Your bang! <laughs> I mean, number five's hair is pretty wacky too. What the heck is going on? Okay, obviously we need to meet the characters. I'm glad number five did that for us. What is that first year saying to Ushawaka being like, I'll prove that I should be the ace in this match? Dude, you guys are on the same team. Okay, like they do not seem to have good ke team chemistry at all. I know I just met them like a minute ago, but like something seems a little bit off here. Maybe this is why we usually see Ushawaka completely by himself when he's not on the court. Um, I just feel like the whole team dynamic is weird. Does anybody agree? <laughs> You guys, I have full body chills. I hope he not doesn't trip. Okay, good, he played it cool. I'm like crying already. I'm so proud of them.
That guy looks like the arm tails from the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, wow, Debbie Downers. Yes, that is a big difference. Usually in like tournaments where you're playing multiple matches in a day, you play two, best two sets out of three. Um, a, because it keeps the tournament moving and B, like playing a five set match multiple times a day would just be completely unrealistic. Um, so yeah, if you're playing a five cent match, it's usually for a final or something like that. So this is definitely normal. Um, and then in the international and pro levels, because you're only playing one match a day or maybe even just a couple in a whole week, they're all best three sets out of five. The longest five set match I have ever played lasted three and a half hours. Yeah, it was long. I had over 90 attacks. Yeah, they can get very lengthy. I feel like this one will. <laughs> oh yeah. That makes sense. You want to line up Suki with Ushiwaka. Oh my gosh, it's starting. Wait, what? <laughs> Did he touch that? Also, he's left-handed. I know I talk about it all the time, but <laughs> lefties. I think that was the perfect way to end uh, episode one. Just, oh, well, hello, left. Like, done. Um, also, just kind of watch the the end credits. I'm loving the season three end credits. If you haven't seen them, check it out. It just kind of is like a sketch drawing of like every single team that's involved in Haikyuu. And I think it's, it's so cool. But, okay. We are in for a long haul with this match, I think. Cause, correct me if I'm wrong, but this whole season is gonna be Shira Torizawa, right? Um, either way, I love it. I'm here for it. But right off the bat, we're seeing the like complete differences between the two teams, the two schools, just like everything about them. Um, Karasuno is very tight knit. Um, 
they're very down to earth, they're themselves, they're goofy, they're weird. Shira Torizawa seems like a team of just individuals, um, which I think when the going gets tough is not, not always a good thing, but they're very polished. Um, they have been here before, so I had goosebumps so many times in that match. I literally shed a tear when they were announcing the boys, the Kurosuno boys, because I was just like so proud of them. I don't know. I Episode one and I'm already crying, like go figure. But hit me up in the comments. I know I asked a couple questions. Um, I could be completely wrong on the Leon thing, but it just jumped into my head and I was like, that is interesting. Um, but I'm so excited to dive into season three of Haikyuu with you. I can't believe we're here already. Um, so I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and do not forget to click the link in my description box to get a lifetime subscription to Rosetta Stone at an exclusive discount. Thanks guys.